So can you please explain with an example what is the meaning of mutability? Best example. Let me go for one more small, chota example. Right? Have observed carefully. Right? Here I am taking L one is equal to ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Like I am taking, sir. L one is equal to ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Now, sir, this is the list we created. L two is equal to L one. L two is equal to L one means L two is also pointing to L one only. Now, now what I want to do? How many list objects are there? One. But how many references are there? Both the reference variable point into the same object. Sir, if any person trying to change the content, all those changes will be performed in the existing object only. So by using L one. If I perform some change, those changes will be reflected to L2 also because both are pointed to the same object. In the existing object only, modifications are performing. Okay? Now, sir, print of L1, print of L2, sir. In both cases, we are going to get 10, 20, 30, 40 only. Okay? Well, now L1. Half zero is equal to double seven double seven. L one half zero is equal to double seven double seven. I'm taking one half zero means a double seven double seven like. Then will be replaced. Uh, in the same object, now the change will be reflected to L two also. Now let me print again. Print of L one. Print of L two. What is the output we are going to get in both cases, sir? Do you know? First element replaced with double seven double seven twenty thirty forty. So by using L one, if you perform any change, that the change will be reflected to L two because both are pointing to the same object. In the existing object only, content will be modified. This is changeable behavior is the mutable. Friends, everyone in the position to understand clearly. So, in the case of list, the modifications are happening in the same object or not? Yes, that's why list is mutable.